Hi there, welcome to Two Birds. I'm Fiona and welcome back if you've practiced with me before. Today's class is a 60 minute flow, part of the Body Focus series of classes. And in today's class, we are focusing on the lower body. So strengthening, toning and lengthening the muscles of your legs and your hips uh, through traditional asana and also mobility. For practice, you may wish to have a block or something similar, uh, although it's not essential, and a blanket for comfort. And if you are enjoying the classes and you'd like to support me creating and posting each week, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel or consider joining the Patreon and all the details are in the description below. I really hope you enjoy your practice. Thanks so much for joining. Namaste. And begin your practice in child's pose, balasana at the back of your mat. Split your knees wide, drape your torso between your thighs. And let your forehead and your forearms rest. Inviting your attention to draw inward. Feel the cave you've created with the shape of your body. Start to cultivate a sense of comfort and ease, letting any outside distractions dissolve away into the background. Make contact with yourself, with your body, and get a sense of how you're starting your practice today. And start by allowing yourself to just surrender and pause and check in. Feel for your next in-breath now, the back dome of your ribs expanding. And then just sense your next exhale, let it spill and release into a soft belly. Take five more slow, calm breaths. And gently lifting your torso now. And if you're comfortable kneeling, go ahead, tuck your toes and sit back on your heels. If your knees don't like deep flexion, you can elevate your seat on a block or a cushion. Or sit with your legs crossed if that feels best. Have your block or something close by. And we'll begin breath, overlapping movement, establishing cadence. On your inhale, raise your arms overhead, press your palms. Exhale, lower your hands to your heart center. Again, circle your arms out, overhead, touch the palms. Exhale, hands to your heart. Next inhale here, arms overhead, raise your hips if you're kneeling, untuck your toes. On your exhale, swim your hands behind your back and interlace your fingers. Stay upright, puff your chest, take another breath. On your exhale, lower your buttocks to your heels, chest toward your thighs, and bow forward toward the floor. Just letting your arms float away from your back in your comfortable range of motion. Keep your hands interlaced. On an inhale, lift your torso. And on your exhale, turn your palms inside out. And press your hands toward the floor. We'll go one more round. If you're kneeling, tuck your toes. On an inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Press your palms. Exhale, lower your hands to your heart centre. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, lower. Inhale, arms overhead. Raise your hips. If you're kneeling, untuck your toes. Exhale, hands behind your back, lace your fingers. Staying upright, breathing in. Exhale, drift your buttocks back and fold forward over your legs. Now 
And on your inhale, keep the hands interlaced, rise back up. And on your exhale, turn the hands toward the floor, stretch down. From here, we'll come to a high kneeling position. You'll need your block or something similar, and you may wish to cushion your knees with a blanket. You're going to place the block between your inner thighs on its narrow side, and the tops of of your feet are flat to the floor. So squeeze the block with your inner seams of the legs, and try and keep the torso and the hips straight. On your inhale, sway your arms forward, hinge your torso back, hug the block, and on an exhale, return upright, float the arms back. Light squeeze to your buttocks. Alternate between the two, and concentrate on keeping your posture in one straight line. So you're bracing your abs and your glutes together. You're also warming up the quads, strengthening, toning your low back, your hamstrings and your buttocks. We're going to take five more here. So only go far as your breath is deep and you can maintain some control and strength in the movement. We're going to lift back up and then set your block to one side and step your right foot forward into a low lunge. Take your hands to the top of your right thigh and then just thinking about keeping your torso upright, light squeeze to the left sit bone so you're bringing it forward Then hold that engagement, gently drop a little deeper into your lunge. So you're seeking sensation through the front of your left thigh. And then go ahead, tuck your left toes now, drive your right heel into the mat, take five slow hamstring curls with your left foot. So heel toward your buttocks and then lower. And then hold in your curl, left toes flexed, or for more sensation you can reach back and connect a hand to your left foot. So drawing your heel a little closer toward your buttocks, you might like to point the toes. Just take two more, slow, calm breathe. And then release. You're going to step your right knee back to kneel and switch. Take the left foot forward for your lunge. And rather than dropping really heavy into the front of your right thigh, just activate your right glutes. So your lunge is a little bit more upright and it's roughly about 90-90 through the legs. So you're establishing that engagement, integrity and support for the front of your hip. Then keep that as you move a little deeper into your lunge. And then tuck your right toes for your hamstring curls. Just moving intentionally as you squeeze your heel toward your buttocks. And then hold in your curl, toes flexed. You can stay here or reach back, hands to your right foot. And this bound stretch with your hands is a little bit more passive, but either way it's good to diversify the stresses we put on our body so we build better overall mobility and flexibility, also in range strength. So you're going to release that now. And we're going to sit back on your heels, just here to transition, let your hips Spill out to the side and bring the legs around in front of you. We're going to separate the legs about hip distance apart, hands or fingertips to the floor beside your hips, and just go ahead, give your feet a twirl and a roll any direction, spreading your toes and just stretching the front and arches of your feet. And then grab your block, place it between your feet, on its middle side. And then from here, keeping your feet wide, point or flex the toes, and then you're just going to lift the right leg and draw a rainbow over the block, then take it back, then switch sides, left leg over, left foot back, and then keep alternating. So try and stay mindful of your posture, 
sitting tall through your low back and keeping your legs engaged so they don't feel too heavy or soggy here. And last few here. And you're going to set the legs down. Walk your hands forward on a diagonal from your shoulders. Tense your fingers and engage your arms. So you draw your shoulder blades in toward the midline of your back. Open your posture and also hinge slightly forward from your hips. Now hold the block with your feet. Point or flex your toes and try and lift the block an inch or two from the floor. Place it back down. <laughs> and don't worry if you didn't get any air. We're just going for that intention and intent and attempt of that action and all of that action will fire the quads in seconds. It's block torture really. <laughs> but again, it's really helpful for strengthening the hip flexors, the abdominals and the thighs. And we'll release that now. <laughs> Releasing and bending your knees, take the block off to one side. Take your feet to the floor, to the side edges of your mat, wider than your hips, and then just lean into your hands behind you. Wipe the knees over to the left, and then over to the right. Just go a few times left to right. Loosen out through the hips. And then next time your knees fall to the right, hold there. We'll take a mild twist, left hand to your right knee. Take your right hand behind for support. And in this shape, don't think about your deepest twist. Think about driving your left hip forward, pressing down into the left knee. Just getting that nice release through the front of your left hip. And now holding your left knee on the floor, flex your left foot. And you can look back at your foot, just raise and lower your left foot. So here, just building a little bit of strength in the outer hip muscles. And then release, we're gonna windshield wipe the legs over to the left. Take your twist right hand to your left knee, left hand behind. And then concentrate on gently encouraging your right hip forward. Now just keep your knees in place, flex your right toes, lift and lower your foot with control and it might only come up a couple of inches off the floor. Just move nice and controlled and steady. So you have this co-contraction through your right inner thigh, your adductors and your outer hip in your glutes. Then we'll release. And then just taking the legs around to the side, we'll return to our child's pose and we'll get flowing a little. Reach the arms forward so you've got a nice extended child's pose. And then on an inhale, gliding up all fours, arching your spine, send the gaze up. Exhale, round your spine, hollow your belly and motion your hips back to your heels. Return to child's. Twice more, inhale, all fours. Arch your spine, exhale, dome your spine, and stretch back. Inhale, and exhale. This time on your inhale, keep sending your hips forward, coming into seal, keep the arms straight, arch a little deeper so your lower legs are on the floor. And then exhale, flow back to your child's pose. Again, inhale into your seal. And exhale, child's pose. Breathing in, into seal pose, and then just slowly lower down to your belly. Take your fingertips off the side edges of your mat for flowing cobra. On your inhale, peeling up. On your exhale, floating down. Twice more. Try and keep the legs engaged there, squeezing in toward one another. And 
And then as you breathe out, peel down, hands by your ribs, and press back into your first downward facing dog. And just find your optimal stride, feel your hands and your fingers into the mat. Pedal out through your heels. And then go ahead, bend both knees, draw your chest toward your thighs and just sway your hips left and right, lengthening out through the side of your waist. And then just pause in your downward facing dog, lift the sit bones nice and high toward the ceiling and if you need to, a little bend in the knees there to unlock the hamstrings. Take two more slow breath, even and rhythmic. And then bend your knees, looking forward, and travel lightly to the top of your mat. You're going to hang in an easy forward fold, soft knees, hands to opposite elbows, and let your head fall toward the floor. Then keep your hands in place, a deeper bend in your knees, lead with your heart to slowly rise up to stand, forearms land overhead, then take a smooth breath in, on your exhale side bend to your right, on your inhale centre, on your exhale side bend your left, inhale come back to centre, free your arms, hinge over to your right, right arm down, left arm overhead, inhale swim the arms overhead and then exhale go over to your left. Rising upright, arms over here, press your palms, exhale hands to your heart centre. From here widen your feet, turn your toes out, heels in, we're going to do two half forward folds with Malasana Yogi Squat. On your inhale sweep your arms over here, touch your palms, on your exhale squat down, hands through your heart centre. Stay here, inhale. On your exhale, parallel your feet and forward fold over your legs. On your inhale, hands to shins, take a halfway lift. On your exhale, refold over your legs. Inhale, rise to stand. Send the gaze up, spot your thumbs. Exhale, lower your hands to your heart. Angle your toes out, heels in, one more, inhale, circle your arms over here, exhale and squat, Malasana, your version, stay here for your inhale, exhale, parallel the feet and forward fold, keep a bend in the knees there if you need, inhale, halfway lift, exhale and refold over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise to stand, reach up, grow long. Exhale, hands to the centre of your chest. We'll keep it flowing now. Stay with the beat of your breath. Just your feet, uh, Adjust your feet back to hips width apart. On your inhale, arms over here, gaze up. Forward fold on your exhale. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. On your exhale, step your right foot back, low lunge, set the right knee down. One breath, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, half splits, Adha Hanuman, hands under the shoulders, straighten your left leg, flex your toes. On your inhale, stay low, lunge forward, fingertips frame your left foot, heart lifts. Exhale, drift back, find your half splits. Inhale, lunge forward. Plant the hands on your exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Take a full cycle of breath. And on your inhale, ripple forward, high pusher. On your exhale, knees to the floor and lower to your belly. Locust pose now, arms alongside your body. 
Lifting on your inhale, legs, arms, chest. Lower on your exhale. One more here on your inhale, lift, expand. Exhale, release, hands by your ribs. And return, downward facing dog. Three full cycles of breath. On your inhale, looking forward, end of your exhale, step or lightly hop to the top of your mat. Open and fold with your breath. Inhale, rise to stand. Or keep it flowing on your exhale, forward fold, over your legs. Inhale, take your halfway lift, lengthen through the waist. Exhale, step the left foot back, low lunge. Arms sweep up on your inhale. Half splits, Adha Hanuman on your exhale. Breath to movement, inhale, lunge forward, lift your heart. Exhale, return to your half splits, toes flexed. Inhale forward, lunge. And on your exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Breathing in. And breathing out. Inhale, come forward, high push up. On your exhale, lower to your belly. This time, hands interlace behind your back, draw the legs together or hands free. Inhale, lift into your locust. And exhale, lower. Once more here, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower, release your hands by the low ribs and press back, downward facing dog. Let's give yourself a few moments to align and calm your shape, your breath. And then on your inhale, gaze forward, top of the mat. End of your exhale, travel up. Open on your inhale. Fold on your exhale. Inhale, come to stand, rise up. Stand tall. Exhale, Tadasana, hands to your heart. Toe heel your feet to touch. Next breath in, come into chair pose, Utkatasana. Motion your hips back, reach the arms. And on your exhale here, just going to float the arms back, raise your heels and just balance on your toes. See if you can sit a little lower. Twice more, just like that. Inhale, land the heels, reach your arms, chair. Exhale, fly the arms back, balance, raise the heels. Inhale, heels down, arms reach, chair pose. Exhale, arms back and balance, raise the heels. Return to chair pose, land your heels and then transfer your weight into your right foot, rise up single leg mountain. You're going to catch the left knee in toward your chest. Light squeeze to your right buttocks and try and grow a little taller and upright. Then hold your balance, release your hands to your hips and lower your thigh to the height of your hip. Keep the left toes flexed. From here, without letting your left hip hike up, internally rotate the left thigh in. The left ankle will go out to the side. And then opposite, externally rotate your left thigh. Left knee out, inner ankle lifts. Go two more each side. Feel the hips level under your hands. It's moving nice and slow. Some mobility work for the hips. And then come back to centre and we'll flow. Keep the left leg hovering if you can. Take the hands slowly to the floor. Step back. Runner's lunge. Take a long stride. Find your feet. And then twist. Left hand stays down. Right arm reaches up. Rotate to your right. And then circle your right hand back and down. Anchor your left heel. Transitioning into reverse warrior. You're going to windmill the arms. 
rising up, reaching back. And then on an exhale, hands to the floor and return to your runner's lunge twist. Left hand to the floor, right hand to the sky. Take one deep breath. Exhale, hands to the floor and stepping back, downward facing dog. If you'd like to rest, just pause. If you're enjoying the flow, make your way through a vinyasa. Take a back bend of your choice. And we'll all meet up in Downward Facing Dog. Three full cycles of breath, just feeling the fullness of your breath around the ribs. Breathing in, looking forward. End of your exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Open on your inhale. Fold on your exhale. Inhale, come to stand, rise up. Exhale, Tadasana. Set the toes together. Chair pose on your inhale, reach your arms. Stay for your exhale. Lift your sit bones toward the pelvis. Take another breath. Exhale, float the arms back, raise your heels, balance on your toes. Drop your seat a little lower. Twice more, inhale, land the heels, reach your arms. Exhale, arms back and balance. Inhale, heels down, arms reach, chair. Last one, exhale and balance. Land your heels, return to chair. Then transfer your weight into your left foot now. Rise up, single leg mountain. Catch your right knee in toward your chest. Reset if you need to, light squeeze to the left buttocks to stabilise. Then hold your balance, hands to hips. Lower your left thigh to the height of your hip. Lower your right thigh to the height of your hip, flexing your right toes, sorry. Try and keep the hips level here and from here internally rotate your right thigh. Then switch externally rotate your right thigh. Go two more each side. And then come back to centre. Keep your right leg hovering. Just slowly take the hands to the floor. Step the right foot back for your runner's lunge. And then twist. Right hand stays down. Left arm reaches up. Rotate to your left. Then circle your left arm back and down. As you go, anchor your right heel, rise up, reverse your warrior, one breath. And exhale, hands to your mat, return to your twist. Right hand to the floor, left hand to the sky. Take one deep breath, reach up. And exhale, stepping back. Downward facing dog. Feel free to take a vinyasa or simply pause and rest if you need to do less. Recalibrate your breath. Eyes forward on your inhale and making your way to the top of your mat now. We'll set our feet up, hips width apart there, just an easy forward fold. Little bend in the knees, you can catch opposite elbow, elbows or wrap your arms around the back of your calves. Cross at the wrists and thread your hands through the gap of your legs. Holding on to opposite shins and just fold yourself in toward your legs. Wherever you're at, just aim to keep your torso on your thighs. Forward tilt through the pelvis and a bend in your knees to unlock the hamstrings if you're tight. And then gently releasing. Let the hands dangle and find your block. Place it to the right top side of your mat. And then just slowly roll up through your spine. We'll come to stand. Bring the toes together. On an inhale, come into chair pose, reach tall. 
Exhale, this time lower your arms forward halfway to shoulder height, raise the heels, balance on the toes and then sit a little lower if that's available. Then land your heels, straighten your legs, stand, press your arms down, squeeze the buttocks forward. We'll do that twice more, inhale Utkatasana, exhale lower your arms forward, raise the heels, lower it down a little deeper. And then exhale, press to stand, float the arms back, squeeze your buttocks. Inhale, chair. Exhale, arms halfway down, balance on your toes. Inhale, squat lower. And exhale, press to stand, bring the hips forward, squeeze the buttocks. Return to chair on your inhale. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Just take a moment to pause, grab your block. If you have it and you're using one here, place it underneath your right foot on its flat side. If you don't have a block or you've got a, a small book, you can still do this sequence with or without the block. It just adds a little bit more challenge. So use your hands for support here and step your left foot back to low lunge. You're going to tuck the left toes, take a moment to steady yourself and then bring your hands to your hips and your torso upright. So we're going to practice here lifting up to a high lunge and then lowering back down and just adding the elevation of the block will load the front thigh a little bit more. You'll really feel it and it, it'll challenge your balance because we're on an uneven surface so move carefully and it'll offer more range in your left leg to lengthen through the front of your hip. So from here tee out your arms for balance and on an exhale stand raising the left thigh and on your inhale lower your left knee to the floor. We've got six more here, concentrate on moving slow, pressing into your right heel and set your gaze nice and steady so you have your balance. And then we're going to lower all the way down and set the block off to the left and we'll stretch down. Walk your right foot into the right lane, hands to the inside of your right foot and we'll come into the diagonal half splits, Ardha Hanuman. So just drift your buttocks back, straighten into your right leg, flexing your toes and just take a few slow, calm breaths. And here you might like to wave your right foot to the left and over to the right. You can let the sensations travel into your outer and your inner hips. And then from here, tent your fingers or place your hands on a block underneath your shoulders there. And see if you can raise your right leg an inch from the floor. And with the strength of your hip flexors, just sweep it out halfway to the side in line with your left knee and place the foot to the floor. So your toes are pointing forward there. We'll just fold, take your buttocks back toward your heels. So you're kneeling on the left knee and then walk your hands forward, bow in toward the floor. Just letting that stretch travel into the inner seam of your right leg. Elevating the buttocks if you need to. And then lifting up through the buttocks, keep the hands under the shoulders, tent your fingers again or be on a block and we'll reverse, raise the right leg, swim it around to the front, place it back down so you're back to your half splits, then lunge forward and come into a lizard lunge. You can walk your hands forward to the inside of your foot. And you might like to take a few circles through your right hip there. And then reframe your right foot with your hands. And from here we'll step up to the top of the mat. Toes together. Open on your inhale. Lengthen. Fold on your exhale. Come to stand with a wave of your inbreath. 
and exhale hands to prayer at your heart. Second side, beginning with our chair flow, inhale Utkatasana. Exhale, lower your arms forward, raise your heels. Inhale deep, a little deeper. And then exhale, straighten your legs, arms float down, squeeze the glutes. Try small breathing in, chair. Exhale and balance. Inhale, lower. And exhale, press to stand. Last one, breathing in, chair. Exhale, balance on your toes. Inhale, sit low. Exhale, press to stand. One breath here, chair pose, reach the arms, fold on your out breath. Just pause there, grab your block on the left there and place it under your left foot if you're using it. And then step your right foot back, we'll make your way into your low lunge, right toes tucked. Hands to your hips, lift the torso, steady yourself. And then take your arms wide. So ready for lift off? <laughs> on your exhale, lift, stand. And on your inhale, lower. Lifting and lower. Go for five more. And just as you do in your regular lunges, aim to engage your right glutes here for support. When you're ready, lowering all the way back down, dismount from the block. <laughs> And walk your left foot over into the left lane. Hands on the inside of your left foot for Ada Hanuman. Walk your hands back and work towards straightening your left leg. And just explore waving the foot a little left and right. And then tend your fingers, perhaps walk the hands back toward you a little. And then lift your left leg, sweep it out to your left, just halfway or a quarter way there, place it down. And make your way into your forward fold. Walking the hands forward, bowing in toward the mat. And just notice if you can offer yourself a little bit more room across the shoulders, widening the hands, a softer breath. And then just rock your way back up. Hands are under the shoulders, tent the fingers or hands on a block. And we'll reverse with control, raise the left leg, swim it straight, to the top of your mat, placing it down, back to your half splits, and then lunge forward into your lizard pose. You can circle through the hip if that feels good. And then reframe your left foot with your hands, and this time stepping back through a vinyasa, plank on your inhale, Chaturanga, exhale, back bend of your choice, and downward facing dog. Take a little pedal and stretch and notice if you're feeling a little bit more warm and mobile through your low body now. We have our final standing flow. We'll flow a little more with our breath and put it all together. On your inhale, raise your right leg up and back, down dog splits. On your exhale, step up, high lunge. Rise on up with your in-breath. Next exhale, catch your balance, single leg mountain, left knee, in toward your chest. Then hands to hips, lower your thigh to the height of your hip. Go one round, internally rotating your left hip. Externally rotating. 
Come back to centre. On your exhale, left foot to the floor, two feet down. Bend your knees, come to chair, reach your arms. And on your exhale, lower your arms forward, raise your heels and balance. Inhale, sit lower. Exhale, land the heels, press to stand, float the arms down. Next breath in, chair pose. Then forward fold on your exhale. Lengthen on your inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step your left foot back, runner's lunge. Then walk your fingers off the top edge of your mat and you might like to have your hands on a block there. You might like to go hands free, hands to heart. Try and keep a bend in your right knee, your right hip hugging in. Just tap the left knee to the back of your right calf and reach your left leg back. Tap. Breath and cadence and your choice of pace. So you can make that more challenging by releasing your hands to your heart centre. And keep your hands in place on the floor. You're still working strongly through the glutes. Last few. And then step your left foot back, coming into pyramid pose. Two straight legs. Take a halfway lift. And then fold out over the midline of your right leg. A little micro bend in the right knee if you need to. We're just aiming to re-lengthen the muscles we've just worked. And so if it makes sense to have a little bit more of a micro bend in the right leg, to feel free and easeful in the shape, please do. Just notice if you've got room to draw your right hip back in space and firmly engage your left leg a little bit more if it's gone soggy. So from here we're going to circle to face the back of our mats. Rebend your right knee, walking your hands around to the left, all the way around to your left foot. Then bring your right knee in toward your chest just as you did before. And then we're going to try and balance from here. Rise all the way up. Reset if you need to. I'm going to move into dancer's pose. So you're balancing on your left foot. Point the right knee down. And connect your right hand to your right foot. So if you're more open through the shoulders, catch the big toe side of your right foot there. Otherwise, pinky toe side. And you're welcome to remain upright. If you're feeling a good stretch through the front of your right thigh now, just stay right here. Or start to kick your right foot into your hand. Tip your torso forward. Reach the left arm forward and up. Five breaths. And release. Shake your legs. Reset. And you're facing the back of your mat. Stay there. We'll make our way back. Set the toes together on your inhale. Take your arms overhead. Exhale and forward fold over your legs. Inhale, open your chest forward. Exhale, either step back, downward facing dog, or take a flow here, vinyasa. On your inhale, when you're ready, left leg up and back. On your exhale, step up, high lunge. Rise on up with your in-breath. Next exhale, catch your balance, single leg mountain, right knee to chest. Hold your steady gaze and then take the hands to your hips. Lower your thigh to the height of your hip. Go one round, internally rotating your right hip. Externally rotating your hip. Come back to centre. And step your right foot to the floor. Ground down. Inhale, bend the knees. Chair, reach your arms. Exhale, lower your arms forward. Raise your heels and balance. Inhale, sit low, a little lower. Exhale, land the heels, press to stand. Squeeze your buttocks. 
Next breath in, chair pose, Utkatasan. Exhale and forward fold over your legs. Inhale, Ada Uttanasan. Exhale, step your right foot back, runner's lunge. Get steady, walk your fingertips forward off the top edge of your mat. Keep a bend in the left knee, left hip hugging in. Then tap your right knee to the back of your left calf. And then reach back, tap. Breath to movement. So try and keep the left knee bent and stable. And challenging option is to go hands free here. The last few. And then step the right foot back, coming into your pyramid pose. Straightening your legs. You can run the hands up the shins, take a halfway lift, find some space. No rush. Forward fold over your front leg. And then re bend your left leg. We'll circle back to face the front of our mats. Walk your hands around to the right. Reframe your right foot. Then hug your left knee in toward your chest. Curl in. Look forward. And then slowly rise all the way up to stand. Working the glutes. Left knee to chest. And then moving into dancer's pose. So you're balancing on your right foot now. Point the left knee down. Connect your left hand to your left foot. Either stay here or start to kick your foot into your hand, reach your right arm up, your sternum forward and up. And release. Foot to the floor, shake your legs, well done. We're going to toe heel our feet nice and wide now. Angle your toes out. Preparing for malasana, we're going to use it as a transition onto the floor. So just inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Press your palms. Then just take a slow motion exhale, lowering through your version of squat. And onto your buttocks. And into the middle of your mat. So we're going to set up for a bridge pose with a small variation. If you'd like a more restful bridge at this stage of class, you can take a block under your sacrum and hold in a supported bridge. Otherwise, I'm offering some final love for your glutes before we wind down. So you're going to lay down on your back. You're going to bend the knees, take your feet to the floor and inch your heels quite close to your buttocks, arms alongside your body. And then wrap your fingers around the side edges of your mat. Nestle your shoulder blades in toward one another so you have that nice broadness through your upper back. And then on an inhale, raise your hips and find your version of bridge pose. So a nice, comfortable, uniform arch through the spine. So feel free here to ease down a little. Oftentimes the apex of the curve goes into the low back. It feels pinchy. You don't need to experience that, just need to lower yourself down a little bit. Once you're situated, lift your toes and dig your heels down. And from here, we're going to walk our feet away from us, but only as far as you have the strength to control it. So keep the toes and chest lifted, walk your heels a foot away from your shoulders. And if this is your edge, just pause or take another breath in. Exhale, step the feet away once more. One more here, inhale. Exhale, walk away from your shoulders. Try and keep that trough through your low back. And then step your feet slowly back, part by part. And then return to your bridge, give a little pulse to the hips, lifting up. And then lower all the way down onto your back. <laughs> so we're going to do one more round like that. 
your version in your own time. So hanging onto the side of your mat and lifting up into your bridge when you're ready. And this walking version is a great way to work your hamstrings and your buttocks muscles, plus you're strengthening your hip flexors in their length and position. So you might only walk away a little, you might be able to walk your feet all the way down to the edge of your mat. Just keep that comfort, sense of ease, your breath steady. And then when you're ready, releasing all the way down. If you haven't already, hug the knees in toward your chest. Take a few rocks side to side. And then step your left foot to the floor now, right ankle to the top of your left knee for a hip groin stretch. So option to stay here or link your hands around the back of your left thigh and draw the left thigh in. Recline pigeon. Just encourage yourself to take some slower, deeper breaths out. Winding down now. And then from here, cross your right leg over your left for a climbed cow. So pick up your feet and either catch a hold of your knees, drawing them in toward your chest. I like this version. And then you widen your feet away from one another. Alternatively, you can run your hands down to your feet and encourage them along, away from one another, flexing your toes. Just aiming to get a nice release through the outer hips. And aim to rest your head back so it feels more effortless. And then keep your legs crossed here, right over left. Take the left foot to the floor, make our way into a reclined twist. Knees over to your left and shift your hips back a smidge to the right. So if it feels more easeful, you can unwrap the legs for a gentler variation. And then make your way back to centre. We'll switch right foot to the floor, left ankle, right knee, reclined pigeon. And just keep noticing the quality of your breath, the quality of your attention. Just trying to zoom your awareness in to the feeling tone of release through the hips. And then making your way into reclined cow, holding your knees or your feet. And mindfully moving your feet away from one another. And then take your final twist. Knees go to the right. And invite your legs to relax. Your eyes to soften. And melt into your twist. Gently, gently release. If you have a final posture to close your practice, just taking that now. If you're ready to rest and be still, making your way into Shavasana. It's so important here to take a few minutes to allow your body to discharge all momentum and effort so your nervous system can rest. 
really digest all the benefits of your practice. So you can leave your practice feeling peaceful and calm. And just allow yourself to settle and nestle into your preferred shape. Just relaxing the expression of your face, softening your brow, your eyes, and relaxing over the bridge of your nose, out to your ears. Release and drop the bottom of your jaw. Let your teeth part. Your tongue relax and all the way down to the base of your tongue. And letting that soft, gentle feeling move into the neck, the shoulders. Dissolving the effort of your upper body, backs of the arms can relax, your palms and your fingers, feel now the very gentle movement of your belly, you breathe a little shallow. You're relaxing down into your hips. Perhaps noticing, sensing any warmth from your practice. Melting the leg muscles. Feeling your heels heavy into the floor. Relax all the way out to the edge of your toes. Your whole body at rest. and let go. And gently, gently drifting your awareness back. And just breathing a deeper breath, slowly waking yourself up with your breath. Bring some movement into your body. And then bending your knees, take your feet to the floor and rest and roll out to your right side. Take a moment to pause. One last rest. Let the eyes open, walk in the light of your room.
And then just slowly drag your way back up to sit. Thank you so much for joining me from your part of the world. Namaste.